Okay, I just came from my morning dance run. I gotta do this real quick. Oh, this this is an Africa report, yeah, including Madagascar. Up there, it's supposed to have COVID, uh, you know, COVID organics, the drink that helps you with the virus. Oh, I need some water. Oof, oof, oh. Yes, we're here. And uh, oh, that's my grandmother there, my sainted grandmother. Oh. <sighs> So you now I take that, I take well, I, I tell you what, what I do, let me tell you what I do. I take these two Come on. I get these things. This is like a, a 3.7 quarts. 1.101.4 uh, ounces, three liters, like that. I take this, and that's the thing, thing and, I order, and I pour this in here because I don't like water and nothing in plastic. I learned that you know, when I worked for the Sopranos because, you know, they had the avion. Anyway, if you get water that comes from it, it'd be in this warehouse so long, and then it gets to you, and then they, they, they leach thing. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Africa report. I told my wife earlier this morning. Well, I woke up in the book. Doesn't matter. I talked to her. All right. She's doing well. Yes, yes, yes. Everything's getting back to almost normal. You know, people are back to drinking and all the rest of that stuff. Uh, but it's interesting. Uh, these are folks that want to, but before, let me stop here. I'm going to go back to, back to something else. Uh, my research group is in Tabaz. We deal with villages. I can't explain you. But uh, Mr. Tully, uh, he's, the, he's, he's, he's my guy. In other words, I basically, how can I say, I speak to him and he speaks to them. And them cats Woo, I wish I could show you them cats, man. There's like, think of a, 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 a yeah, a football stuff, the, the pitch of a, the, the, the you all don't say pitch, uh, you know, a football stadium, the, the grounds, you know, like that. Some of them, five hundred, whatever it is, thing, they haven't seen that. And they, these kids, they're, um, when I say kids, you know, they're in their, in their 20s or whatever, their early 20s, or even less. They take shovels and they dig and they're hoeing the thing with shovels. They're not using hoes, they didn't have no plow or nothing like that. And they just, you know, and they, um, I got to talk to them uh, recently. But what, then what they do is they, uh, you know, then they plant. They got something like 3,000, well, 3,500 seeds. They're, they're going to plant it, and the village is going to do its plant, and everybody's going to be planting and stuff like that because they, they realize because it was COVID that things have to change. Okay, that's for that. I talked to my man uh, Ian from in Cape Town, and uh, I had seen something about, you know, the, um, uh, the safari, whatever it is, you know, the, those industries are suffering because everything had to lock down. So if you, so the lodges and everything for, you know, we know the Kruger National Park. I've been to Kruger, man, that's a big place. I tell you, I've been to Kruger, right? Then, uh, uh, like a month or something like that, I went to India and they wanted to show me their, 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 their little setup with wild animals, right? And they had like an elephant on a chain, whatever have you. And I was trying to, that's was very cool, cool. And then I told the guy, oh yeah, yes, good, yes, yes, good. And I said, I mentioned I've been to Kruger National Park. He didn't know what I meant. I just left the park. Anyway, by Kruger, all the animals out there, they do the lions that eat people when they eat tourists when they jump out of the plane because they're out of their, their, their conveyances because they're, you know, they're stupid. Okay, anyway. So I told Ian because I learned it and then I asked him, hey, what's going on? And he says, woo, they're suffering. All investments are down. Those, the, it's just, they do, of course, the tourist industry, any industry has a lot of peripheral stuff, you know, around it. So the, the workers, well, but, but, you know, people are losing money. It's amazing. So things are going to change. Maybe the animals will take back Southern Africa, because this is all of a sudden happening, not just South Africa, because you know, you know Tanzania, uh, Kenya, all those things, things like that. <gasps> wow. Okay. Anyway, uh, back to back to my wife. And so she says everything up. But here's what I want to say. Look, for those of you people who think you're just going to jump up and run to Africa. Okay. Okay. Uh, you may be able to do that. I would suggest that, you know, you, you check it out first, whatever have you. And it depends where you go, of course. You know, uh, usually if you're from the States and you have some big city no sense, slicker no sense, or you or maybe pick people who are going to do that, like basically they're upper middle class, what are you going to do? Fine, you'll set yourselves up. You get your da 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 Great. Fine. But anybody else, let me tell you how it is. Let me explain to you. How do I explain it? Okay, say I'm an American. Forgive me. My wife is, she's a, her lineage is a, uh, you know, croissant san, you know, the, the original people there, you know, with a little a bow and arrow, and they, 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 they'll run down, a, they run down an animal for days because they got two feet down, we got four feet down, and they kill them. <laughs> the, the original people, they see them down there, anyway. And then the other, on another side, she has, she comes from Zulu, right? Okay, so she's very, she dark skin like me, right? So, but they could, but the way she is, there's so many, there's so many, I mean, the United States has a lot of different things, maybe, but the South Africa has a whole lot of things to do, right? Anyway, amalgamations, you know, whatever you call it. Anyway, so she's talking, but she lives, we live in a closer area, right? 
and you have to understand, like she, she does stuff like that. And maybe people go to her beginning and they'll, they'll support her, support her, but they will still go and somebody else say, say she does fish, right? And so they have to come to her fish, then somebody else will get, I don't want to say jealous, but they'll, they'll start the fish. So the people will go to that person because it's they're like, they're related. <laughs> They're just extensive relationships. I mean, if you go to somebody's um, uh, what they call a clan name, you know, they have like, they'll, they'll, they can list like so many generations. You might go down, just that, that might be related to here, it might be related to this moment, but they, and they're related. That's how they don't, uh, you know, have problems with, you know, anyway, it doesn't matter. They don't have problems with, they shouldn't have problems with people with intermarriages and stuff like that because in your lineage, you'll find that you're related to somebody. So, ooh, that's my fifth cousin. I don't think I'll mess with that. You know, you can't. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to say, you know. So she obviously she has a difficult time because she's talented, whatever. Have you. And then we were trying to get her, her if she does her design, design thing, we get hookups and she'll be online and she can sell the blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I need to tell you that why? Because a lot of people think they're just going to jump up and leave America. The fight, man. Don't be don't be like those Africans that, that, that those middle class Africans that leave Africa and come to America and then and then be taken 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 and they say oh you black people don't do nothing how come you don't do nothing oh yeah well you know what I'm saying right don't be like that in fact you the Africans that are in the states please go back because all all throughout the world we're fighting against the system you got to be there to fight against the system that that, that just rejected you. OK, or if you can't go back, at least send the money when you send money back to your peoples, you know, what I mean, for them to build their, their palatial states or whatever have you. This includes, wait a second, this includes, this includes Africa, this includes you Indians, too. You know, exactly I'm India from the, you know, from the dots, not the feathers. Right. You know what I'm talking about. Right. You do the same thing. Instead of saying, when you say money back, look, part of this is going to our to the liberation of the planet. Right. So we need troops spurking up all the way, which, by the way. Right. Oh, no. I'm finished with the African report. Let me give you my. New York, New York. You know, when people, when I travel, people ask me, well, where are you from? And I always say, the South Bronx of New York City. Let me say New York, I say the South Bronx. Of New York. You from America? Yeah, I'm from the South Bronx of New York City. <laughs> you know, what they say, you, what they say, I'm from the South Bronx of New York City. You know, in the United States of North America. And then they sort of maybe, maybe get it, right? So I'm giving you a New York report. Let me do this. You know, I was online reading something. Whoopi Goldberg, I guess I got it on Instagram, I forget where I got it, put this statement out, you know, and she was, basically she did the, she did the, uh, uh, yeah, I, I grew up, she didn't say, I'm saying it this way, yeah, I grew up in the projects, right, but, right, but I've ascended, you know what I mean, you remember, I was picked up by, uh, by Mike Nichols and his boy, and, and, and they, and, you know, because I was doing my one month show, and they catapulted my, 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 uh, they catapulted my career. So, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, I've been picked blatantly, you know, like Oprah Norris, I've been picked blatantly to be, to be, you know, to be their girl. And, uh, and because, because I owe them, then what I need to do is speak up for them and their kind. Their kind also, let me say, let me get, come here, come here. I, I'll talk to you. Whoopi! I'm sorry. <laughs> And now, you know, I saw someone's upheaval has, even though I was, you know, I guess she was, is she my age? If she was in New York in 64, she knows exactly what I'm talking about. If she, anyway, forget that. And so then she says a statement and she said, oh, no, but this violence and this property thing. Oh, and blah, 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 and blah, blah. Y'all shouldn't be doing that. And as a grandmother, stop right there. Whoop. Grandma. Was it 1970? Hey, when was it? You know, 1984. You was there. You were someplace in 94. I guess you may have ascended in 1984. You was around. And uh, projects like you were. Imagine you. In fact, here you go. You got this thing. Here you go. I got a, I got a role for you to play, Grandma. Here it is. I want you to, to, to get the script together and everything like that. And when the role you play is you're going to be, you're going to play a grandmother. You're going to be in your apartment, in your in the projects. You're going to be there. And, and because uh, 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 because the, the black community for years have, have been beset with all kinds of things that destroy your mind, psychologically in your mind. You, you know, you're not, you're not quite there, right? 
But you know, you've been paying your rent, now something happened, whatever have you. So you're there in your apartment. I knock on the door. Come, open up. Can I tell you? No, you, I'm not going to. No, you know how grandmothers are. And then what happens? The door gets busting in, right? And we, boom, boom. The police, law enforcement, enforcing a law, blows you, shotguns you away. You want to do something? Do not tell young people, or don't tell people out of your class what to do. The role of an elder is to, not on Instagram. The role of an elder is merely to say, to advise, but advise them in their forward propulsion, in their evolution, not to stop their evolution. I am so, no. you understand what, no, you, I don't care if you understand what I say. You understand what I say? Eleanor Bumpus, a grandmother, you play her, and you go, you, that way you have to research the role and get you up behind, shot, shotgunned, and then you'll understand what's going on. You've been hanging out with no white boys too long. Joy, baby. I met Joy Behar back in the day when she didn't sell herself out, okay? She used to be all right. She used to be a liberal. <sighs> Let me leave them people alone. But I want to say one more thing. Again, I said this before. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Dave. If I need to hear from a celebrity or anything like that, they all, I don't care about any of them. What Dave Chappelle said was amazing. And how he presented it, notice that when, when that the, 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 they didn't, he didn't show the, the George Floyd, you know, kneeling like that on the thing. But he did show, you know, he got it wrong. He wasn't selling Lucy's at the, at the time, you know, he, that he's known for Lucy's, but those cops is that he showed that. So you saw the hands up, and I you know saw the hands up. I can't breathe. I mean, the whole presentation was amazing. But what's the more important? See, I've seen George Carlin live. I've seen Richard Pryor live. Right? I know about Lenny Bruce. Right? If, of, course, of course, I've seen Bobby Dick Gregory live. Right? I've, I've, right? Right now, what's happened? There's a certain thing that 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 uh, Lenny Bruce. Stop being, a, stop doing comedy, stop doing his crap to do, you know, to do tirades, you know, against what he's for, you know, for whatever, you know, for what he saw was, was injustice, whatever have you, right? Then, so he started, he said, went away from his comedy, did that. Richard Pryor, right, did, did, did these things where you had, his timing was amazing, he did make social comment, and because, you know, his language, so he connected with, the, with, with, with he connected, right? And eventually, he connected from beyond the black audience up into, you know, Cross whatever you want to call them, people. Right? Whatever you call those people, right? Now, if and, and, and of course, Bobby Dick Gregory is kind of it's kind of strange. I don't. Uh, I've seen it a few times. I don't find him that not as funny as blah 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 blah. blah but that's me, you know. I don't find Kevin Hart and a bunch of other people that that funny either, right? Okay, so I'm not comparing anybody. So what has happened is Chappelle has somewhere taken somehow taken the tradition of like you know from a Lord Buckley to a uh, uh, to a Lenny Bruce, right? And taking that kind of thing, right? And taking the Richard Pryor, and even if you want to say a little, if you want to say put, I don't know, the Gregory name, but Richard Pryor, right? And have come up with the mix that is like perfect for his generation, for his, for our generation, right? That. So if you want to listen to a celebrity, if you have to listen to a celebrity, and you're not listening to me, uh, uh, um, what's that? Uh, the Jackson sister that did the whole thing? Anyway. You know, well, that's on you. <sighs> that's it for me. T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect for sure.